Hi, it's me, Tony. You may be wondering, what's different? You may have already figured it out. You may not care. But this is a big thing for me. As you can see, my walls are empty. I am currently packing up my room because I am done with school. I graduated high school in 2015. I started CSU Monterey Bay in fall 2015. I couldn't afford to be there after that first semester, so I went back to my home city and took community college for about two years. And then I came back and I've been here for about a year and a half and now I am finished. That's it, done, no more school. I've been in school my whole life. I've only known school. I've had three jobs and only one of them wasn't in school. And it only lasted a month or two because I hated it. I studied, am studying cinematic arts and technology it is fall 2019 and I have completed all of my work. I just turned in my last paper and I have one more thing to do on campus which is where they screen all of our films and other than that I just have commencement which is graduation next semester because they only do it one semester and that's it. So I'm leaving this place and unfortunately, I'm not just gonna go walk into the business and start working at film places in LA or something like that. I have to go back home and make some money. <laughs> I don't have very much, and so I need to make some so I can live away from home. Since I've been in school my whole life, I don't know... That's just it. I don't know. It's very hard to find a job if you haven't tried, or if you know. It is very difficult, especially finding one that you actually want to do. And I'm from the Central Valley. There are not very many film-like jobs there. But this isn't about that. This is just telling you that I'm done. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about CSU Monterey Bay. Take it as you will. Number one. Parking sucks at this school. If you like walking, it's the school for you because everything is very far away from each other and if you are driving there, you have to park very far away usually. And if you wanna park close, you gotta get there early or when people are leaving too. I got very frustrated being at this school. One of the reasons is parking. Um, but the main reason is because in everything, in everything, they say CSU Monterey Bay tries to keep costs at a minimum and like things like that. And for someone that needs FAFSA and has to get loans because they don't have enough regular FAFSA, I find that statement to be untrue. This school is the cheapest CSU that you can go to, but the surrounding area is very far away from each other. If you want to go to the store, the closest store is Target, and you don't have a car, it's a 30 minute walk. Maybe 45 minutes. Just one way. If you want to go to the mall, you gotta take the freeway and go, I don't know, 15 minute drive. Everything is very far away, we're right by the beach. You can walk to the beach. If you like the beach, the school's for you. I'm not a big fan, it doesn't matter to me. I've been to the beach maybe four times for as long as I've been here. But costs are not at a minimum in my opinion, and I just think they could just not do that statement. Three, and the last one I'm gonna tell you about this is the staff and faculty, at least the ones that I've met, are awesome. This is the best thing about the school is that the faculty are great and they're very nice. 
everything in the school that was my favorite part other than meeting my friends. Now let me give you a few tips if you want to come to Monterey. One, be ready to walk. Two, orientation doesn't help that much. So if you can, either get a private tour or someone to show you the buildings because it's not very easy. There are a lot of them and lots of them end in the word hall. Three, get involved in anything, in clubs, in events that are just around. Get involved. You will regret it if you don't. Four, if you can, or even if you don't think you can, because I didn't think I could, study abroad. Study abroad. I could not say it enough. Study abroad. <laughs> First of all, at this school, the study abroad program is awesome and they're super nice and it's easy to get communication and stuff like that. If you can, study abroad. Your perspective may not change a whole lot because mine didn't, but there is something about seeing another place and being in another culture that is not your own. That's a big one. Five. Try not to use your advisor for everything. Some of the advisors, not all of them, but some of them don't really know about everything. Many times my friends or people that I know have gotten their advisor's advice and taken classes they didn't need to take or something on those lines. If you come to this school, you can go on Oasis, so you go to the Monterey Bay website, log in, dashboard, go to Oasis, and you can check your classes that you need in Oasis. Especially if you're in the arts, lots and lots of people don't know much about the arts. And so everything is just more difficult for them. Six, if you can and you're new, get into a program. I'm in TRIO SSS, which is Student Support Services, and they give you so many more opportunities. You have to pay for printing, and with, uh, with SSS, you don't have to because they have your, their own computer lab. They have um, field trip opportunities, and you don't have to pay for any of it because it's for low-income students. Seven, you have to pay for graduation. Graduation is called commencement, and you have to pay for it. I would complain about this right now, but I'm going to leave it at that. You have to pay for graduation. And no, I don't mean you have to pay for cap and gown, which you have to pay for that too. But just to apply to graduate, you have to pay for it. Hashtag, the more you know. That's all I really have to say. I hope it helped you. If you are looking to go to the school or to go to college in general, you should like try to see if you can do some of these things. This wasn't a really upbeat video. As you can tell, I'm very busy. So yeah, thanks if you made it this far and good luck. If you like this video, you can go ahead and do that. If you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel. But I'm not going to force you because I'm a Hufflepuff. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both those links are in the description. And I think that's it. Okay. Bye.